are back again with another practical use case video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing how you can create and deploy an AI chatbot within WhatsApp. It sounds quite intimidating, but rest assured, it's easier than you think. You may be wondering, what's the point of implementing AI into WhatsApp particularly? Well, there's actually a lot to it. Many businesses operate their customer service solely through WhatsApp. Not just customer service, but many different business operations. And then you have a lot of regular users who just utilize WhatsApp for regular chatting. And this is where AI could be implemented to enhance many of the chat components. But basically for the business aspect, by creating a 24-7 support service with the help of AI, we can provide fully autonomous support to various functionalities. One main reason why an AI chatbot within WhatsApp can streamline business operations is that you can utilize it for booking appointments, order tracking, email transactions, as well as troubleshooting, which would free up human employees from mundane tasks. In essence, it's basically implementing AI to enhance and automate many areas, which is going to reduce costs, it's going to increase efficiency, and it's going to improve productivity. To help us accomplish this goal, we're going to be utilizing an AI automation and AI chatbot creation tool called VectorShift. VectorShift is an amazing, easy to use AI automation platform that requires no code at all. It has a drag and drop UI to help you basically build out AI solutions such as AI search engines, AI assistants, AI agents, chatbots, as well as various other AI automations. I've made multiple videos on this in the past where I automated my emails, Slack channels, and various business operations. Definitely check out those links in the description below because there's full on tutorials which showcase how you can automate almost anything. But with that thought guys, let's get straight into the video and showcase how you can implement AI into WhatsApp. Now before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. I would like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel and this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers, we have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So what I want you guys to do is head over to the vectorshift.ai website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And I want you guys to click on this get started button over here. Once you do so, it will prompt open this page where you're going to be requested to create an account with Google or with GitHub or with your email address. So do what's best and then we can proceed with the tutorial. This will take you to the main dashboard of VectorShift. This is the pipeline page where you can manage all your different automations. You can see I have a lot in which I automated. You have a marketplace in which you can access pre-built different types of automations that have been created by the community as well as the VectorShift team. You can track various sorts of evaluations, you can upload your own knowledge base, different file types, and you can manage all your automations and chatbots here. This is a great end-to-end -end platform that can help you deploy and create your automations. Now, what we're going to be doing is clicking on this addition sign, and we're going to be creating a pipeline from scratch. So click on this create new button. You're going to also see all of these other prompt templates that have been already created. For example, these automations have been created by the templates that have been provided by the VectorShift team or by the community itself. You can automate your Gmail with this template, or you can automate Google Drive flows as well as many of these different integrations. But for now, we're going to be creating a pipeline from scratch. So click on this addition sign, and then this will proceed us to the drag and drop UI, which we're going to be basically placing in various sorts of nodes from large language model nodes, the knowledge base, all the way to chat to basically create our AI WhatsApp chatbot. So let's get started. First things first, head over to the general tab and place in an input node and an output node. This is quite foundational for any workflow to be operational. You need an input node so that queries can be processed and then an output node so that they could be outputted to a chatbot or any sort of automation. So now, now that we have this foundational loop set in, we need to head over to the large language model node and choose a provider. You can choose open source providers from Hugging Face, 
all the way to OpenAI's large language model node, which is the one that we're going to be utilizing in this case. Next, you want to head over to the Knowledge Base tab and you want to place in a Knowledge Base node. Now, what is the purpose of this AI chatbot? Well, what I'm going to be building is a generic chatbot that's going to be answering questions about my YouTube channel. And this is where you can access it with the help of VectorShift on WhatsApp. So that way, I'm going to be pasting in my different sorts of knowledge or like my files and integrating it within this knowledge base reader node so that it's going to be able to process and provide whoever is inquiring about my channel through this knowledge base node and it's going to be able to provide the most relevant information back towards the person who is asking for it to create a knowledge base you want to simply click on create a new knowledge base and then you want to name it whatever you want so in this case i'm going to just name it world of ai and then create once that is done, I'm going to be uploading and scraping URLs from my YouTube channel to my Twitter page to my Patreon. So I'm going to be providing my URL and this is where it's going to be recursively scraping it. Now that we have our knowledge base figured out, we can then go head back and configure the large language model node. So I went along and I gave my large language model node a very, very basic prompt system prompt. And this is where I stated that answer questions based off the context and now what we're going to be doing is basically connecting all these nodes together so the response will be connected to the output but now we got to connect these two and to do so you want to click on insert variable this is where we're going to name it uh firstly the question itself which is going to be the input node so now that i have question assigned i can then now create our knowledge base variable so this is where i can just name it memory and then I can then press on this variable button, which is going to insert this variable. And then I can rename it to memory as well. This way I can then connect all of these different variables and nodes together. So now that we have this connected with the input node, it's going to be able to process the knowledge base that we have integrated throughout this whole process. And it's going to be able to have the large language model process it with the ability to utilize nlp once your automation is ready you want to click on deploy changes once that is done you want to click run pipeline and this is the great thing about vector shift you can test this out before you export it so see if it's operational in this case i'm going to ask what is world of ai and then we're going to send it in from this you can just simply click on the run button and we're going to be able to get an output based off the knowledge base reader files that we have uploaded and it's going to be basically utilizing the OpenAI large language model node to process it with the help of NLP. And there you go. You have our answer. So now that we have this functional, what we can do is click on the export pipeline button. You can have this as an automation or as a chatbot. In this case, it's going to be a chatbot. So we're going to name it WhatsApp World of AI and then create this chatbot. Now, the great thing about VectorShift is that you can edit your VectorShift chatbot component, meaning that you can change the logo and the styling. And you can basically do this within Vector Shift's automation platform. You can change the styling, the different types of size of the components, and so much more. But in this case, we're just going to leave it as this. And then what we're going to do is click on export. Now, the next thing is, is working with Twilio. So now you're going to need to basically create an account with Twilio. It's completely for free. This is a communications API platform that you can access right now and i'll leave a link to this in the description below so that we can basically connect it with whatsapp so once you have created an account we're going to proceed forward so after you create an account it will then sent over to this dashboard of twilo you're going to be able to see your account information which is going to show the sid and the authorization token which you're going to need so copy the sid go back into vector shift and paste it in for your auth token go back into twilo copy it and then do the exact same and paste it in now go back into Twilio and I want you guys to click on messaging. Now what you can do is you can try it out and click on send a WhatsApp message. Once you do so, we're going to be then acknowledging and agreeing based off of the uh, terms and condition. Do it at your own discretion and then you want to click confirm. Next up is having WhatsApp web or the application itself on your computer opened up. So you want to make sure that you have it opened up by simply testing it out. And then you want to head over to sandbox settings. Now, what you're going to do is get back into VectorShift itself, the main dashboard. And what you're going to be doing is connecting the API to this URL that we see over here. We're just going to be placing it in over here. So to do so, you want to head back into VectorShift's dashboard. You want to click on the drop down menu and you want to click on usage. This is where you can head over to the API keys 
and you can basically generate your own API keys. So after you copy your API key, you want to head back over to this tab within vector shift and you want to paste it within this area. So you want to make sure that you remove the brackets as well. And then you want to paste in that API key. And then after you want to copy this overall key and you want to go back into Twilio and paste it within this section over here. And then you want to click save. And that's basically it. Now you have an AI WhatsApp chat bot and you're going to basically have it so that it can provide relevant answers based off the context that I gave it. So what is world of AI is an example prompt I'm going to send in. And within a couple of seconds, we should get an answer back within WhatsApp, which is just amazing. And there you go. You have this answer, which says world of AI is a platform dedicated to the exploration and the discussion of AI. And that's as easy as that, guys. Another thing I definitely recommend that you check out is the vector shift documentation because it is going to showcase how you can export your chatbot further in detail as well as customizing it, meaning that you can fill out this form over here to have it so that you can connect your chatbot to an official business profile, meaning that it will have a business outlook. It won't be the basic below outlook with that logo. It would be based off your own logo as well as your own preference and style. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value. This is how you can easily integrate AI within WhatsApp. And this is just the baseline of it. There's so much more to it. You can add automations within WhatsApp. You can add appointment senders. You can have automations that can fulfill tasks within WhatsApp with the help of VectorShift. So I definitely recommend that you explore this even further so that you get a better idea. But that's basically it for today's video. I definitely recommend that you try VectorShift because this is an amazing platform that has automated so many things for me. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel so that you can access the best content on AI on a daily basis. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.